What's up guys, Gully Boy back at you with another most popular songs video, and this time we're gonna be checking out the top 10 most popular songs from Lil Uzi Vert. Now, if you follow my live streams, I've stated that I've listened to one of Lil Uzi Vert's projects after I heard his fire verse on Pop Hunter's Adderall track. I was amazed by how good his verse was that it led to me checking out one of his mixtapes called Lil Uzi vs. The World. I remember not liking his vocal choices on that project, and I also remember him having annoying ad-libs too, but I can honestly say that I didn't listen to the full project. There have also been songs and features that I heard from him that were really good. So for this video, I'm gonna be giving Uzi another chance. Let's go ahead and get right into it and check out Lil Uzi Vert's 10th most popular song, P's and Q's. 10th most popular Lil Uzi Vert song, P's and Q's, 81,439,634 views. Okay, I have quite a bit to say about this one. First off, the synopsis of this track is that Lil Uzi took a girl named Britney from her boyfriend. He'll basically brag about this the entire song, as he'll flex on the dude by stating that he's broke. One thing that I never understood about certain dudes is why do they feel like it's a big accomplishment getting with another man's woman? If it was up to me, I'd rather for her to be single, cause I'm not trying to think about another dude while I'm with her. In the words of a pimp named Slickback, sound like some gay shit to me. But the song itself is just okay in my opinion. One thing that I gotta stress is that I can barely understand what Uzi is saying. The reason I know what the song is about is because I did some extra research. At certain points on this song, it definitely sounds like he's mumbling, and although I'll admit that he has great melodies, how he delivers these melodies is what throws me off, especially on the chorus. The chorus is mixed with him mumbling and sounding lazy and tired. I can't really get with his vocal choices on this one, making it a hard skip. Ninth most popular Lil Uzi Vert song, New Patek. 95,890,320 views. New paddock on my wrist, yeah. White dominant in them shits in pink, yeah. Got going to go get a mink, yeah. New finger rings in. I will admit that his flow on this one is great, but overall, I can't get with his voice on this song. He's rapping in a high-pitched tone throughout the track, along with stacking his vocals with auto-tune. It literally sounds like a bug is flying around my ear while this song is playing. But there are some good things about this one. I already gotta give Uzi credit for sounding unique, and he most certainly can rap. I also don't have an issue understanding what he's saying on this track. This is basically a track that involves him flexing his wealth. But as I said before, I can't get with how he sounds on this one. That fast flow mixed with high-pitched vocals and auto-tune will probably never be pleasing to my ears. I'm the same nigga, but stay stereo. Yeah, my boys on the block selling all slow Cheerios. I wake up in the morning for cereal. Flip the break, make the whole shit. Eighth most popular Lil Uzi Vert song, Do What I Want. 101,801,406 views. Everybody know I better. Hey, yeah, I'm better. This track starts off really great, but when it got to the chorus, I got annoyed. One thing that I'm realizing about Uzi is that he's capable of switching up his flows and melodies a lot. This is a blessing and a curse. As an artist, he never has to worry about sounding repetitive on songs, but a lot of his vocal choices aren't appealing. Now this is me speaking for myself. I completely understand if anyone else would rock with his style. As I said before, this track had a great start until he started to repeat I do what I want. This bothers me for some reason. Now I do what I want. Now I do what I want. Yeah. Now I, do what I, want. I honestly think that it's how he's saying it, cause I had no issue with his verses on this one, but when I hear that chorus, it irks me. Now I know that I might be sounding too critical, but I assure you that I'm just giving my honest opinion. If something doesn't sound good to me, I'm gonna say it. But with that being said, this is an okay track, but just like tracks before it, Uzi's vocal choices ruin it for me. 7th most popular Lil Uzi Vert song, Just Wanna Rock, 103,940,286 views. I would literally have to be living under a rock if I haven't heard this song. I know that it's a dance song, but even as a standalone track, I think it's great. Uzi's vocals blend in with the instrumental perfectly here. When he starts to track off with that damn, it gets you prepared for the energy that he's about to bring. He'll also drop a good short verse that would then jump right back into that energetic chorus and outro. I do kind of wish that this song was a little longer, as the instrumental is really good, and Uzi's presence also enhances the experience of the track. This one is definitely a banger, as every element is Great. 
Sixth most, most popular, popular Lil Uzi Vert song, Go Off, 114,232,574 views. I was debating if this would be classified as a Uzi track. When I was looking at his list of most popular songs, they kept classifying it as a Uzi song. Either way, this is another decent track. The song was made for the film The Fate of the Furious, which also features Quavo and Travis Scott. I think we have another instance where a Uzi song is ruined by a minor thing. Travis and Quavo would use autotune for their verses and the chorus. Travis Scott's attempt at autotune would be phenomenal, as he does well on his verse and the chorus. Quavo's attempt is what ruins it for me. When he'll sing on the chorus along with Travis Scott, it doesn't sound good to me. He sounds like someone who doesn't naturally have good singing vocals, which is probably why autotune was used. Now I said this before about Travis Scott, he's very capable of having great vocals with the autotune, and when you compare him and Quavo on this track, you will notice who's more skilled with it. I'm a go Uzi on the other hand would drop a great verse. I don't think he's using autotune either. Maybe if he was on the chorus with Travis Scott, this track would have been better. But it's not a terrible song, it just has that one flaw on why I can't come back to it. Fifth, Fifth most, most popular, popular Lil Uzi Vert song, song. You Was, was right. right, 124,630,755 views. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. You was right, I was wrong. Yeah, I should have never ever took her Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Uzi's vocal choices work well on this track. The vibe on this one is mellow, along with being something you can dance to. Metro Boomin would produce a catchy instrumental that would execute this. Uzi would then hop on the track with a nonchalant flow as he raps about relationship issues with his girl. He'll basically admit that he's the problem in the relationship as he cheated on her with the groupie. They say I got that money and I was bitch, like I said that. I don't pay that whole no mind, I been had that. As I said before, this track was executed really well as Uzi he comes with vocals that I can tolerate and the instrumental is also really good. Fourth, Fourth most, most popular, popular Lil Uzi Vert song, The Way Life Goes, 141,601,075 views. This track is top tier right here. First off, I like the message on this one. Uzi is basically saying no matter what hardships you may face in your life, always remember that life goes on and better days are ahead. Uzi's vocals are incredible on this track as he'll do so many things creatively that'll work well for this song. The additional vocals from the group Oh Wonder also adds to the dopeness of the track as Uzi used their original material combined with his own flavor. Don Cannon will produce a very unique instrumental that reminds me of a Sega Genesis game. I know you're sad and tired, you got nothing left to give. All in all, this track is great as Uzi showcases his talents well here. This one's definitely getting added to the playlist as the message is great along with other great things. Third most popular Lil Uzi Vert song, Money Longer, 167,135,120 views. It do not matter. Turn to a savage, pocket got fatter, she got me daddy. This is definitely a get lit type of track, but just like some of his songs, I can't rock with it because of Uzi's vocal choices. When he recites the chorus, his singing is terrible in my opinion. Like I really can't stand his singing on this song. But what I will say is that this song would be perfect to get the party lit as he does bring a lot of energy on it. The instrumental is also good, but just as I said before, I can't personally rock with this one as I can't get with his vocal choices. Money got longer, speaker got louder, car got faster. to a savage, pocket got fatter. She got Second most popular Lil Uzi Vert song, 20 minutes, 212,882,755 views. This track right here is an absolute banger. The first thing I recognized was how hard the beat was. That boy Honorable C Note went crazy on this one. Another thing that I like about this track is that the concept reminds me of the song Check It Out by Chief Keef. On Chief's version, he would explain to a girl that he's not in her city for too long as he has to get back to his business. Uzi would basically talk about a girl he met at his show and how she wants to hang with him. He'll tell her that he doesn't have a long time to hang with her as he's on tour. So he'll pipe her up real quick as he has to leave to go to the next city in 20 minutes. Uzi would also state in his verse that he has too many flows. He'll be absolutely correct about this as I've seen something different within his vocals on every song in this playlist. His flow on this track is perfection as he'll rip this fire beat. This one is most certainly going into the playlist and this might be my favorite track from him so far. I don't really care if you cry.
Okay, now there's a lot to unpack with this one. First off, I like how this track tackles different topics of depression, but not only that, Uzi also sheds light on how certain people deal with their depression. The lyrics also reflects Uzi's personal vendettas, which leads to him taking drugs in order to deal with his struggles in life. The way he'll recite these lyrics is very powerful, as you can most certainly hear the pain in his voice. But for me personally, I can't really get with how he sounds on this one. I'm not saying that it's terrible, as I understand why there are so many vocal changes on this song. I'll definitely commend Uzi for being skilled at this, because it's not an easy thing to do. But for my taste, it just doesn't sound appealing. Another thing I'll give Uzi credit for is touching on different topics in his songs, along with being creative. He's most certainly not a one-trick pony, and this track is a perfect example of him showcasing his skill. But for me, this track is good, but I don't see myself going back to it, as I can't get with the vocal choices. Everything else is great, though. I don't really care if you cry. In conclusion, I'm glad that I decided to give Uzi's music another chance, as I've discovered that he's capable of making some serious bangers. He's definitely one of the most creatively talented rappers of this generation, as he has so much to offer. But with that being said, some of his vocal choices aren't appealing to me, which leads to me not going back to some of his tracks. Another thing that's dope about Uzi is that he tends to get personal in a lot of his music, which leads to him tackling different topics. You can't say that about a lot of artists today, but there are some exceptions, and Uzi is one of them. He's also been able to remain relevant since he blew up around 2016, and you can't really do nothing but commend him for that. I think the reason he's still one of the most popular artists in rap is because he's capable of coming up with many styles that then transform into him making creative music. He just might go down as a legend in the future, and I also plan to listen to his projects in order to find more bangers. But with all that being said, this was yet another installment of checking out artists' top 10 most popular songs. Stay tuned for a whole lot more, and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one, Gully Boy, signing out. Oh.